Hey guys, welcome back to 2323 Spencer. This is a property that my partner Mike and I bought just a couple weeks ago, and it's going to be a burr deal. And again, I haven't been here. So let's go inside, let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to 2323 Spencer. This is a property that my partner Mike and I bought just a couple weeks ago, and it's going to be a burr deal. And I haven't been out since the last video. So if you guys have not seen that last video, head on over to Real Estate School, R-E-I-S-K-O-O-L.com and watch the previous video or two. We're trying to make videos every time we come to our properties so we can actually sequence them and make better education, better training by doing so. So again, we're here, 2323 Spencer. This is a Burr deal. We bought this property just a couple weeks ago. And again, I haven't been here. So let's go inside, let's check it out. This was removed. And I love that we have that tree removed. That was a giant tree. And look how hollow the inside of it was. That's kind of wild. Um, I was also informed that the water company had to big a, dig a big hole right here. And they even had to do some, some work in the street. I believe a rock fell down into the shutoff and they weren't, be, they weren't able to turn the water on. So they came and they replaced it, but at their own cost, which was awesome. So I love that. Uh, we, again, took this tree out right here, which is awesome because I hate trees. They always drop stuff on the roof and they create yard work. And we've also already cleared out all along this fence line. Let's do an exterior walk around first here. So we've already cleared around all of the fence line, which is great. We can actually see our condenser now, uh, which is great. This was all overgrown and you couldn't even really walk through here originally. The guys are working on this um, right now. So they've removed some drywall and there's a little bit of trash out back, but hey, that's part of the project here. That's part of the process. Um, so we got a little bit of trash to still remove, but all in all, it looks really good. Um, do you know if they've cleaned out the garage? They have cleaned out the garage already, which is great. That thing was like stacked to the ceiling. So we've already had a crew come over and clean the tree up. We've had uh, all the stuff on the inside removed, had all of the um, brush along the right side of the house. Oh yeah, we did. We replaced the, uh, the power line connecting it to the house. What was the reason? Do you remember? Um, the power hadn't been on in a few years, so we had to get an inspector to come out and do a wire. That's right. Power had been off for several years, and I guess the electrical company wasn't super happy with that, so they weren't okay just turning the power on. They sent an inspector out, and the inspector basically said, hey, we need uh, to replace the, the line set. I think that's what they call that, a line set from the pole to the house, into the meter, so on and so forth. So, all right, we are here. When we bought this house, it was a one bedroom, one bath. It still only has one bath, but we added this wall right here, which obviously is just studded out with two by fours right now. Um, but we will drywall this and we will put a door in and this will become our second bedroom. Now it's not a massively large bedroom by any means, but it is a bedroom nonetheless. Um, I'd imagine we'll probably put a little closet in in one of these corners, probably right here in the front. It'll, it'll fit really nice, but um, this will be the second bedroom of this house. This is one of the smaller houses that, that we have bought recently. We're not a huge fan of, of one ones, uh, but when you can convert a one one into a two one, it makes it a little bit more appealing and it also increases the value of the home. Uh, that's one of the reasons that we liked this deal is because we knew that we could increase the value not only by adding this second bedroom, but by also just updating the home. So last time I was here, there was nasty couches everywhere. I believe there was carpet, there was crap everywhere. Here is our bathroom and we really haven't got to the the gutting of the bathroom quite yet, uh, but that's okay. Guys are over here, they're still working. Uh, the bedroom, I don't even think I walked into this bedroom. Last time I was here, there was a bed and nasty carpet and just stuff everywhere. Um, well, this connects, that's kind of nice. 
Uh, but again, we've cleaned it all out. We have a closet right there. Not really sure what that thing is, but just kind of extra storage it looks like. Oh wow, it's actually quite big. Huh. I guess it's just access to the closet. And there's steps, look in here. How weird is that? Have you seen that? There's steps in here. Oh, I haven't seen Which is that. so crazy. But I do like how you have access to the bathroom through this bedroom as well as through the main family room. So bedroom one, bathroom, bedroom two, family room, and then of course the kitchen. Now we haven't done anything to the kitchen quite yet other than just gut everything out. And what we can do is I will have my team drop in um, a picture or two either here or here of what the kitchen looked like when we were here last time. I remember last time I couldn't even really walk through this house for more than, oh, I don't know, four or five minutes without, you know, having to gag. It was, it, sm it smelled awful because it had been vacant for, you know, several years without any power, any HVAC, any water. It was bad, but now it doesn't really smell at all, which is awesome. And we haven't even painted yet, which is great. But as you can see, we got rid of all of the cabinets and appliances and nasty stuff that is just gross. Um, let's go downstairs and check out the basement. There's still some flies flying around. So we might need to get some fly traps, but uh, not a big deal. Those are cheap. So the basement, we've cleared out the basement and man, who paints a house is this color green? That's crazy, but whatever, it's all looking good. I can tell that they put in a new ceiling down here. I believe whenever we were in, the, in this house, you know, maybe three weeks ago, two and a half, three weeks ago when we were here last, that it was just rafters. It didn't have this drywall ceiling and by adding this drywall ceiling, it's going to make this basement much more livable, friendly, cozy, warm, you know, so on and so forth. So it looks like they did wire in some, some can lights, one, two, three, four can lights, which is great. And do you know if they're, if Mike's planning on doing like a LVP down here, like a vinyl plank or carpet? I'm not sure. Probably vinyl plank, just because it's just more durable and it's waterproof. But I don't know, that's up to Mike to decide. Uh, let's peek in here. Here is our mechanical room. You can see the water heater is in great shape and the HVAC um, doesn't look too terrible. Um, I don't know if they've fired it up quite yet. And if it works, we're gonna keep it because this is a rental. And if it needs to be replaced, then we'll swap it out. Uh, what do we got going on in here? We have a water leak, which is um, not a big deal. It's just a slow drip, but we'll have to address that. And then this panel, this panel looks brand new. Did they just put this in? Uh, it was here when we bought it. It was here when we bought it. Okay, cool. Well, it looks new. It's nice. It's got everything labeled. And then one thing I, I always look at when I'm looking at my panels is not necessarily the panel itself. You know, if it's nice and new and clean, that's great. You always want to see breakers versus those screw in fuses. So this all looks good. But the main thing I like to look at is the top of the panel, because if you have a lot of different types of wires going in, you can essentially see different generations of electrical work that may have been done. Now, even though we have a white and orange and yellow, all of these lines here are relatively new. You do have a little bit of faded ones over here, but for the most part, these all look like they're, you know, within the last, let's say 20 years, um, which is great. And they're all stapled in, it's clean, it's organized. You can see the lines going that way. It's all stapled again. It's clean, it's organized. So this looks really, really nice, which is awesome. Here's our cable lines that come in right there. Um, so this here, just a little storage room. It's in the basement. We're probably not gonna do anything with the floors in these two rooms here, this room and that room, just because this is for storage, little fly. Um, whereas the main area from the steps going down and around by the sliding door, 
uh, we'll most likely put in some vinyl plank because that's the finished part of the basement, whereas this is just more for storage and mechanicals. So again, water heater looks really nice. Our plumbing stack, we have a washer and dryer box right here for our hot and cold water. And we'll put our washer and dryer here. Looks like here is the outlet for the dryer, which is great. And then we have a PVC plumbing stack, which is nice. Down here below, you can see it's cast iron. And you know, it's not in the best shape, but it's not leaking. So there's really no reason to mess with it right now, especially as a rental. Um, but I love seeing the PVC at least from about, oh, what is that, about 10 or 12 inches off the floor going all the way up into the bathroom and then through the roof, and that is the vent. You always have to have a vent. So all in all, this project is progressing and it's looking really nice. We still need to you know, do a lot of work over here, but it's cleaned out. We've got the wall built for the second bedroom. We've removed all of the kitchen. We still need to remove the bathroom. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start putting it all back together. So I would assume that we're still gonna get a roof, we're still gonna have some windows replaced, and then we're gonna put in new flooring, new trim, paint, and then of course in the bathroom, new, new tub, new vanity, new toilet, and then in the kitchen, new countertops and cabinets and appliances, and then it'll be ready to rent. So we still probably have a good, oh, I don't know, maybe six weeks over here, seven weeks over here before we're gonna actually be ready to rent this house. Um, but I can already tell from just the exterior cleanup, the, the tree removal, the landscaping, that this is a diamond in the rough, right? This is a nice little gym. And I'm excited to get this project done and then hand it over to the property manager so we can get it rented, so we can then take it to the bank and refinance it to pay back our private lender and then add this to our portfolio of rentals using none of our own money. And that's the best thing about the Burr method, right? Buy, rehab, rent, refinance, repeat. And if you do it properly and you get really good deals, you can acquire assets that don't require you to have any money out of pocket, literally zero dollars out of pocket. And this property should cash flow 250, maybe $300 a month. So it's not a huge amount of cash flow, but it's an asset because it does, it will cash flow. And all along the way, the tenants will be paying the property down. So let's go do one more quick walk around here before we wrap up the video. Again, if you guys haven't checked out Real Estate School, that's R E I S K O O L dot com, go check it out. Every time I go to, any of my properties moving forward, especially new projects that we're buying, we're gonna be doing short little videos just like this one. So we can show you all step-by-step step what we do, and especially in, in, the, in the Burr Method deals, right? Or any, any type of deal for the most part. So I'm really excited to get this project done. Oop, the floor is sticky, but that's okay. And really, one of the great things about this property here, as you can see, is they already have wood floors throughout. Now there's some patchwork here. And sometimes when we have nice floors, we'll actually just refinish these floors. But because we have areas like this right here without floor and this big strip right here without floor. And then of course, this piece right here, instead of refinishing these floors, it doesn't really make sense. We're just gonna use luxury vinyl plank, LVP. Um, and we're gonna put the LVP down throughout the entire main level, the bathroom, the bedrooms, the family room, the kitchen, and just hit the whole entire level with it. It's gonna make it look really clean and it's gonna make it look really pretty and it's going to make this be a very desirable property for any of the tenants that we you know, can, can rent this property to once we are all done. So I'm gonna come back out to this property in another one to two weeks and do another update video. Until then, we'll see you next time. Okay, well, on my way out the door, I realized that there's a big pile of flooring here. I don't know how I missed that, right? So here's the flooring that we're actually going to use. It's a very, very nice uh, luxury vinyl plank. It has um, a little bit of a cushion on the back and it clicks together. It's basically a tongue and groove type of floor. So this floor, when it's all set down and laid out, 
will look really, really, really nice ish like this. And once it's, you know, all the way wall to wall across every room in this house, it's going to look beautiful. So hopefully the next time I come back in one to two weeks, they'll have more of this property progressed and we'll give you more updates. Thanks for watching. How so easy, we close fast and any time that works for you. Your house don't need it, we'll throw cash, it hits so fast, don't know what to do.